going on, everybody? Level of Diecast. I know we've been having a lot of unboxings lately, but a lot of stuff came out. So today we're going to bring you a selection of Mopars that I recently picked up from Greenlight. Because that's my main thing with Greenlight is Mopars. I have a little bit of a little bit of everything from each series as they come out. It's going to be the first one. I picked this one up at Hobby Lobby. Barrett Jackson release number six, five. Release six. You got it right the first time. Uh, this is the 1968 Plymouth GTX. This is the back of the card here. Doesn't list the other models, but this. Uh, I believe this was the only one in Barrett Jackson release, so we're going to do this one. We're also going to do Greenlight Muscle uh, Series 24. This one is the 1970 Dodge Challenger Convertible. Um, I, you know, some of these castings Greenlight's been doing for a really long time, and it just, I'm wondering if they're going to run out of decos, but somehow they don't. They just don't. Here are the models on the back. So this is just the Mopars. So obviously you guys can tell what's going to be next. We're going to do the 2018 Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat in graphite gray. You guys know I love my Chargers. I love them. I just need them to make a 2016 SRT in silver. And then we're good because it'll be my exact car. Same back. Series 24. Going to be sweet. Uh, we're also going to do Anniversary Series. We're going to do the 1968 Charger. This is uh, 50 years of Hemi 426. This blue looks really nice. I really like the fact that the uh, stripe is broken up back there. So, going to be exciting to cut this one open. There are the deets on the back. Might have to keep that piece. I don't know. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, this is in the same vein. We're going to do 1940 Jeep Willys. Uh, this will be the second casting. I don't know if this is the second one that's out, but uh, this is a very new casting. So <clears throat> it's not everywhere yet. However, the first one did not have the canopy. This one does. So that's pretty cool. Besides, I love anything that has to do with World War II. Big buff. Big World War II buff. So we're going to get reset. And uh, then we're going to chop these open. And uh, we're going to go over them. All right, guys. I got my first model here. It's the 68 Plymouth GTX Custom. And no clamshell can survive a pair of scissors. And these particular pairs of scissors have gone through... Probably a thousand clamshells in their life. So, obviously comes in our little case deal here. Get it all fancied up for everybody. Throw that down on the rotator guy there. Alright guys, sorry about that. We had a few technical difficulties. I think we're hopefully good to go now. I'm trying to, man... Focus is driving me nuts these days. I know I keep mentioning it. it's probably driving you guys nuts too, but just I'm not a professional, guys. I'm trying to figure this out, I'm trying to make it better for you. So we're gonna take a look at this GTX. It's in uh silver, got a black top. There's some uh matte black on the hood. Tires a little a little funky on the back there. It is what it is. There's the detail on the back. It says Plymouth. It's pretty nice. I'm trying to get to that plate. It just says Barrett Jackson. There is the other side. Of course, it's the same. There's your awesome deco on the front. It's always a good thing. And then, of course, one of the few models that still opens. See how much I can get it open. There is your Hemi down in there. 
Definitely a 426 for sure. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. And then on the bottom here. Oh, man. Too bad it wasn't 4026. That would have been pretty cool. Not that it really would have mattered, but, you know. So it's a pretty high number. No big deal. Throw that guy on there. Roll off. That's the one thing that green lights always gotten in trouble for is they don't roll all that well. They roll, but the tires are never on there very good. So no matter how you do it, it wants to find that flat spot. All right, we're going to flip way different. We're going to do this 1940 Willys Jeep because I'm dying to get this guy open. I'm chop him open. Of course, like always, slide that out. Take this guy off. See if this guy might do a little bit better since he's not as shiny. You don't have to worry about so much with the, the zoom. Um, like I said, man, I'm, I'm a big World War II buff. Um, I like collecting stuff from World War II. I have a number of things that are not just die cast. I have a lot of memorabilia and stuff like that. Um, some other cool stuff I wish I had is like a real helmet would be cool. You know, some other stuff like that. But I'll, I'll come across that stuff at some point in time. So, I uh, I work with a person who, uh, uh, their dad was in World War II. So, um, you know, if if family heirlooms ever, ever go anywhere, they, they can come to a good home. So we'll pull it up here and take a look at it real quick. Obviously, USA. TP25 is the deco on the side. This is such a good casting. Greenlight did a very good job with this. Uh, this obviously has the same wheels as the Nissan Patrol, which is very simple. Although this one, the tire replacement's like perfect, which is really, really nice. Um, obviously this is equipped for other attachments on the back, which is nice. Um, we're gonna see if this top comes off real quick. Indeed it does. Very, very simple. So here's the, the top piece. Um, it's not really particularly held on there just more like sits on there in case you guys are curious good detail to it though you got your bench in the back there's the deets in the front I'll flip it over get it super close so this is number 2121 nope this is uh 30 there's two numbers on here it's definitely that number 3093 Super hard to see, guys. Super hard to see. But there's the details. It's got that separate chassis. Just such a good casting, man. Such a good casting. And even holding it up close, it's even worse trying to see that number on there. So this, uh, like I said, this slots in behind there. It literally just sits there. Literally just sits there. So if you wanted to... There you go. So if you guys get it, just be aware. Just be aware. All right, other anniversary car here. We're going to do 68 Dodge Charger RT Hemi in light blue with white trunk stripes. 50 years of Hemi. Um, I do like that they have the elephant on there. Pretty sweet. There's your clamshell. Slide this guy out. Take this guy off very gently. And we're going to throw this behemoth on there. Because the Charger's a big car. She's a big girl. I've never been a fan of the Charger in blue. Um, I'm not really sure why. I just... I've never seen one in, in a blue that looked particularly good. Uh, even in real life, die cast, doesn't matter. It's just blue is just not... In my opinion, blue is just not the color for this car. There's many other colors... Just blue is not the one. Um, this looks good. It's got that nice Krager style wheel on it. I mean, this is a nice blue. It is a nice blue. But, you know, there's no decos or anything on the white stripes. It's just the white stripes go across the trunk. Very good detail on the back. No plate. Very good print on the back. Very good print on the back. Very happy with that. 
Here's your other side. It does say Hemi in the door there. Charger RT in the front. There we go. Very, very nice detail. Uh, this is also one that still opens up. So that is a different Hemi than the GTX. So that's pretty cool. Definitely switching it up, making it different. Uh, black interior on this with uh, white seats. It's a really nice color combination. And underneath here, flip this around. Uh, super, super hard to see that number 829. That's 829. So there's your note, your details on the bottom, obviously made in China. Dang, this, this cast has been around since 2007. That's crazy. Crazy. Is that really? Yeah, 829. So it's kind of hard to see, but yeah, 829 is the number. So sweet. All right, we're going to move on to... Greenlight Muscle Series 24. We're going to do the 70 Dodge Challenger RT Hemi. Convertible in blue. Um, unlike the Charger, this car looks fantastic in blue. I don't know why they're different, in my opinion, but, you know, they just are. There is your little clamshell. Slide it out. Take the behemoth off and put on a much, much smaller vehicle. So this is a darker, well, they're pretty close, pretty close in blue. Um, you know, green light, um, sometime in 2020, they kind of redid the interior um, on this model for the convertible um, and just made it look a lot better and it looks a lot nicer. Um, and they've kind of rolled with it. I think there's been like five, maybe this may be the sixth version, I think. Um, since that retooling. So they're definitely loving it. And as collectors, we're obviously buying it. And pull this up real quick. There's your deets on the side. It says talent challenger on the quarter panel. Got those crazy door handles. And the front's always been a little off with the opening hood. It just it looks odd. This one's not as bad. Um, it's just the hood's so prevalent that it opens. It's just crazy. The other side here. And one thing I don't like about the these rally wheels that uh, Green Light does is that some of the holes don't always show up. So you see on the front wheel, they're mostly filled in. The rear wheel, they're mostly not filled in or completely not filled in. So that's a little frustrating. Um, and then they got the gas cap on there, which is pretty nice. There are your details on the back with the Challenger RT on the top. There is that new retooled interior. It looks fantastic. Uh, definitely doesn't look as detailed though as other green lights, which is kind of weird because this is this is a convertible. Like everybody's going to be looking at the freaking interior, you know. Um, unfortunately, it looks like I got some scuff on the on the hood there. Some of the black's been worn off. It's, it's part of life. Part of life. Uh, the hood doesn't open all that far. You can look in there and see the Hemi. Uh, this is also different than the previous two. Uh, so that's that's really nice. They're not just reusing the plastic parts. Snap that shut. Not bad. So we're going to look at the bottom here. So number 721. It's a pretty low number. It's pretty nice. All right, we're going to move on to the last one. This is the 2018 Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat. Green Lab Muscle Series 24. Uh, this car literally looks good in every color in the planet Earth. Even purple and fuchsia and pink and every other color. Uh, it just does. It just does. Boom. Heck yeah. All right, we're going to get this guy off. And we're going to get this guy Hanging out. The only thing I don't like about this casting is that the wheels are a bit big proportionately to the casting itself. Um, but this is because, you know, Greenlight only can use a certain number of diameter wheels so that they can limit the amount of tires. It's a cost thing. And I get it. 
Um, the good thing is, is I mean, they're actual Hellcat wheels, so we got to take the good and the bad. Pull this guy up. Take a look at it. Uh, one of the things, so it looks like, just real quick, I'm going to get off topic here. Um, I'll have to verify, but it looks like they've thickened up the side mirrors. Um, that's been a nemesis for this model since its inception. So that whole side window, including the side mirror, is one piece of plastic. And what happens is, is that this, regardless of the bubbles they put in the blister, gets impacted and then it shatters. Um, I've, I've had a number of chargers that have had this problem, but it looks like they've thickened up the mirrors uh, to not only look better, but be more structurally sound. So just want to point that out. It's very, very nice. Uh, so we got the Hellcat logo on the quarter panel because of course we do. Scrolling around to the back here. I just, I really wish they wouldn't paint the reverse lights because it just makes it look weird. It really makes it look weird. Like, you guys have to agree, that looks weird, right? Looks weird. Looks like it's tearing up, like it's going to cry at you. <laughs> uh, pulling up to the other side here, it's the exact same. Got the Hellcat logo, moving on to the front. Got the SRT logo in the grill. This is a interesting grill. Looks different. Looks like they may have put a different piece in there or something. I could be mistaken, though. Could be mistaken. You know, this model doesn't look that great up close. I want you guys just to be aware. Um, it looks odd when you get so close up. When you're away from it, it looks perfectly fine. And there's a lot of models like that that you'll find. Uh, black stripes on the top. Got your, you know, Hellcat hood. This one, got to take two hands to open it up. Uh, this one actually opens really, really nice. Matter of fact, it, it doesn't even, it wants to stay open. Uh, so there is your supercharged Hemi in there. This hood opens plenty of far. It's crazy it doesn't want to stay up. I don't think I've ever seen that in green light. Every hood wants to just not even open. We'll take a look at the base here. Number 721. What? Look at that. The two Mopars that I wanted in the same series match in numbers. When does that ever happen? That's never happened to me. Wow. You guys are seeing it here first. That's that's crazy. That's freaking awesome. That's, man, man, that, <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. I know it's dumb because the numbers don't really matter, but I think that that's so cool that these two numbers match. That's just nuts. That's just nuts. Cool. All right, guys. Well, since those guys match numbers, I was going to do that. But you guys know how I roll. I'm trying to max this thing out. This is how I do every video now. So we're going we're gonna to push our luck a little bit. This guy, I get to, I get to stack a little bit. And this guy, he's going to hang off the side a little bit. So there we go. That is Mopar Collection. Of green light that I just picked up. No particular series, no particular direction, but I wanted to showcase those to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's pretty cool to get those matching numbers, man. That's that's pretty unique. It's pretty unique. So, anyways, level and diecast, Mopar Nation, Mopar No Car. You know, we we all love our Mopars. So we're gonna roll out. Peace.